Okay, Steve, just wanted to give you a quick little uh, video recap, mate, of uh, uh, maybe a, like a before and after of what we did in our uh, in our session today. So, um, you know, spoke about the grip a little bit. We'll talk about that more from uh, looking at looking at the face on view in a second. But um, you know, the back the back swing we spoke about, uh, you know, decent sort of takeaway. But you can see how much that right arm's bending already, right? You can see how that right arm's bending. Then you get a little steep with your lack of turn, uh, which again we'll 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 talk more about from the face on view um, and then you can see that right arm just really starting to disconnect from your body at the top right so um, with your hands being so high and uh, kind of right on top of your right shoulder um, and all that disconnection with your right arm um, it's very easy to start coming down over the top right from that position so your hands are kind of over your right shoulder and then uh, you know, the, your hands and the shaft kind of start coming through your neck um, over the top and then the path, the path coming out to in, right? So we need to, um, we need to build you a better backswing, um, which gives you more of a chance of, of getting that club coming down uh, between those two red lines in the slot, right? So, so all I'm doing here is uh, just, just building your backswing from P1 at the start to P2, shaft parallel with the ground, to P3, left arm parallel with the ground, right? And you can see what I'm doing there. I'm, I'm, I'm making sure we put a T-peg under your arm, right? Underneath your armpit to help you feel a bit of pinching under your armpit. And then, uh, right, get up to P3, feel that, right? So you're still feeling some pinching under your armpit, uh, keeping that keeping that connection there and then I'm, we were just completing our turn to get up to the top right and I'm saying right well okay your elbows come off your chest a little bit which is what we want but that pinching under your arm stays there right just to build up that just to build up that feeling um, so that's much better mate and you can see if you started your downswing from there started moving your hips forward over your left foot to start the downswing with your lower body um, you've got a much better chance of the club coming down the slot from that position, right? From this position, you're always going to be over the top. So, if we then did a little before and after from face on, just find your swings. So, change your setup a bit, didn't we? Um, feet a bit narrower toes turned out a little bit and knees turned out a little bit and then the backswing was basically well we need to get rid of all that sway right so it's more of a sway rather than a turn and you can see kind of halfway back how there's a lack of rotation in your trunk and your hips so what I said was well if we can get your lower body working better right and you can see how that that right arc, that right leg straightening up a little bit as your left leg's more flexing. And then as you start going back, you see how you're creating a little bit of space in here. Right? That little chunk there, which is kind of where you see a lot of the pro what the pros do. Now you're staying centered to get up to the top. That's much better. And then <clears throat> rather than that big sway and the right arm coming away from your chest on the way back. So that's much better there. And then on the way down, this is your before swing, and then on the way down, we talked about how that right foot staying on the ground, that right pocket, if we stop you there, which is arm parallel with the ground, we'll draw a line down where your right pocket is. We said, right, well, your right pocket is just too far back, right? We want your right pocket over your left foot by, by that point. So once you've made a better back swing, then just make an effort to really get your right pocket more over your left foot. There you go. So that's so much better. Now, you know, the knee's a little bit too bent. Both knees are a little bit too bent, right? We haven't really spoke, we didn't really speak about the the ground force reaction, right? The pushing down and then letting the ground push you back up to straighten your legs. We didn't really talk much about that, but, um, you know, you start incorporating a bit of that into, into your swing and... Uh, starts to look a little bit better right you just got to put a ball there and uh, 
and do it do it with a ball getting in the way of the swing so that's uh, that's much better mate that's much better really good really good and you can see how that right pocket now is over your left foot so um, that's it mate um, if you have any questions just uh, shoot me over an email cheers